everybody, we're back with another episode of the NRW Checkpoint. Of course, I'm your man, Webster Style, the man, the voice of fragrance, always joined by my techie guy, my music <laughs> guy, <laughs> my everything else guy, Brian Seth. Brian, how are you doing today? I'm doing okay. Doing okay. Just okay. trying to catch up on the days. That's all. I'm, hey, <laughs> it's called a delting. <laughs> right. I, I, agree. I agree. All right. Real quick, before we get into... Uh, the games for this week. You know, we we missed out on last week, but last week had a very important announcement, and that was the death of Stadia, one that we knew was coming <laughs> for a very, very, very long time. Brian, yeah, how do you feel about Stadia finally dying? I feel like it was uh, past due. I mean, I, I I really appreciate the ambitious nature of Stadia, but you know. And it didn't pan out, and that's okay because it was Stadia's Google, right? They yes. they'll make another run, and it'll probably stick. Now that everybody is like aware that the the possibility is there, when they relaunch as something else down the line, they'll probably do a lot better. But I was never a Stadia person. The controller looked kind of cool, but I never never jumped on board. So you know, right for those who who love stadia or had good memories with it you know you'll still have those memories they just won't be playable that's fine it, exactly i think this is what we've talked about so many times when it comes to cloud only gaming mm-hmm. uh, that's byproduct of something ending you know we, we talked about square enix what they've done on the switch same thing with capcom with resident evil you know right. once they turn off those servers it's you're essentially out of your money and honestly you know, because I've never been like a cloud person. Like I either buy a physical copy or I'll make sure, you know, I download the digital straight to my hard drive, whatever. Right. Overwatch <laughs> just ended and transitioned to Overwatch 2. The Overwatch 1 servers are completely like dead. And I, I finally felt that for the first time. Like, oh, my God, <laughs> I can't go back on here. And any money I've invested into the game is literally... You have to just count on Blizzard to roll it over into Overwatch 2 or it's gone. So, yeah, cloud game is not where it's at. But, you know, for those like quick games, maybe like mobile games or whatever, it's probably uh, a lot easier to manage. Speaking of Overwatch, I got I got I got a story for you guys relating to that that happened (laughs) when they transitioned after we get off the air here. But, you know, that's we talked about cloud gaming and it's interesting that Stadia died. And then today, which unrelated, but somewhat related, Microsoft just said, hey, we're putting Game Pass and cloud gaming on your meta Oculus device. Oh, <laughs> right. Exactly. <laughs> so somebody's doing it right and somebody just did it woefully wrong. Yeah. And that's OK, because that's a part of business. That's a part of capitalism. That's a part of any industry that involves tech. Like, right. It's not finite. It's definitely something that changes with the time. Sometimes people get it wrong. Sometimes they get it right. It is what it is. All right. That, that well, that's it for Stadia. Cloud gaming is expanding, just not with Google. Let's get into our games of the week, and we have a robust list this week. Uh, first off is as Asterigos, Curse of the Stars, and this is uh, exclusive to the PS4 and 5 and PC. It's an action RPG inspired by Greek and Roman mythologies. Explore the breathtaking city of Aphes and forge your way through legions of unique foes and mythical bosses to discover the truth behind the city's curse. Now, we're not watching trail for this one, but again, there are a lot of action RPGs that are coming out. I, I feel like like um like never not never winter um skyrim and that whole morrowind saga when that really broke over in that western rpg action rpg you see so many rpgs now again it's not directly because of them but it's like a slow and steady like every time we go on the show if we have rpgs as a good 75 percent chance as an action rpg instead of a traditional turn-based rpg so it's interesting to see how so many quote-unquote action games are really become heavy with that rpg element yeah and i agree I, I feel like that's more so due to the fact that people are starting to understand like there needs to be more substance in video games like 
you know, right now we have, uh, I won't even call it a huge surge anymore because it's been around for some time, but, you know, battle royales are really big. Right. Even those have their own, like, little stories and plots to them that kind of give them an RPG feeling. And then you have games like Destiny that have been around for quite some time, transforming slowly into, like, an ever, ever-going RPG. Like, I think people understand that in, in order for the business model that is starting to take over where it's like battle passes and all this other stuff like that you have to give the player more to be interested in i can't i don't care to just log on and be like oh okay there's a cool new skin right. and i'll buy that and play the same game i've been playing for the past two years it needs to be some changes and i think they're starting to realize with rpgs and the stories you could tell that's the way to go yeah i agree I agree. Speaking of RPGs, next up on our list for release this week is Evil. Um, and this is exclusive, at least for now, on the Xbox platforms One, S, X, and PC. And it's dropping day one on Game Pass, so I believe it's downloadable uh, as we speak. Uh, in this, it's a murder mystery social deduction game inspired by the popular card game Werewolves. I think it was a movie based on that as well last year uh, on that Werewolves game. Uh, mm-hmm. Evil is developed by Vest Games and published by Versus e- Versus Evil Evil. Excuse me, Versus Evil. You take um, <laughs> Evil. You. Uh, that's a weird publishing name. <laughs> that's me up there. Uh, take on the role of either a villager in which. Uh, case you need to try and unravel the mystery behind the series of murders happening in your town i believe this is very much a a multiplayer focus as well so it's definitely a game that benefits dropping on uh, a service like game pass day one mm-hmm. yeah that'd be dope especially yeah. i don't know i've never i don't know have i i haven't really heard of like a mystery game that you could play which right it's very interesting yeah i mean this would be a good opportunity for Warner Brothers to go ahead and push out a Scooby Doo game if <laughs> if they want to uh, venture off into this genre. But I think that's dope. Yeah, I agree. I'll be I agree. Next that. up is a, is a game or title we're familiar with, but just not for the other platforms. It's No More Heroes Three, and it's dropping on the uh, PS4 and Five, Xbox One, SX, and PC. Um, again, No More Heroes series action series that dropped on the Wii last year is now coming to the last gen and current gen systems of Microsoft, Sony, and uh, PC. In this game, you it's a third person action adventure where the player assumes the role of the professional assassin Travis Touchdown, who was climbing to the top of the galactic superhero rankings mm. uh, so yeah it, you know if you're in the gaming you you know what we're talking about when it comes to no more heroes but it's third person action game hack and slash you defeat enemies you level up you know boss battles all that good yeah. stuff <laughs> not saying it's not anything special but it's not anything you haven't seen before there you go i agree right Next up, we have Lego Brick Tales. Uh, it's on a PS4, 5, Xbox One, SX, Switch, and PC. It's a puzzle game in Lego Brick Tales. You control your custom-made avatar who has visited his inventor grandpa. Due to several hijinks, he's lost power to his theme park. It's up to you to travel through his portal and visit several different worlds to obtain happiness crystals by helping out people in need. Hmm. I don't know when I heard happiness crystals. I'm, I'm, I'm. I'm thinking of something else, <laughs> something a bit more adult. I'm like, yeah, kind of I'm picking up what you're putting down. I'm picking it up. Right. And I, I will be remiss if I did not um, call out the fact that this kind of sounds like Kingdom Hearts a little bit, but huh. that is OK, because Kingdom Hearts is a fantastic game. And then Lego has. They have a chokehold on the world period that just, you know, every kid knows about Legos. It right. doesn't matter what age kid you are. <laughs> like, I don't know why that keeps passing down. I feel like building blocks are, you know, a little bit dated, but I'm fine with that. Legos, it's a puzzle game as well. That'd be cool. Yes. So, yeah, that sounds dope. That's what our second game in the past, Lego game in the past, what, two months? Mm-hmm. Was it a Lego brawling game or whatever it was, a couple weeks yeah. ago i feel yeah. like lego put something out like every month whether it be a game or a movie or a tv series something yeah. lego's always working which is yep. good because that means disney's gonna buy them pretty soon please no <laughs> <laughs> they're gonna put the offer up it, this next up 
we have Fueled Up, and this is on the PS4, 5, Xbox One, SX, and PC. An action game. It is a cooperative multiplayer party video game developed and published by Fireline Games. Uh, it's a chaotic couch co-op spaceship recovery game for up to four players. You and your crewmates must fuel, fix, and rescue damaged spaceships before the evil space octopus gets its tentacles on them. That sounds highly interesting and weird at the same time. Yes, it does. We are not watching the trailer for this, but I definitely got to check it out because I can see, I can see that being like a a fifty sci fi style. Like that sounds in my head. That's perfect for a game of that nature. That would be cool. Yeah, huh? I'm now I'm interested. Fueled up. Okay. Yeah. So I, I I, anything co op is is grabbing my attention. I have very very fond memories of co op gaming. So right. I, I, okay, I check that out as well. All right. Next up is the last Ori crew. I think I'm saying it right. And that's exclusive that's for current gen yeah. systems, PS5, Xbox, SX, and PC. It's an RPG. Again, another action RPG. And this time, this game uh, has a strong emphasis on storytelling and player choices. The players awaken in a sci fi medieval world at a time of war. Um, and starts influencing the destiny of the whole nation. The game is designed for both single player and co-op experience. We are watching the trailer for that one. So okay. I'm looking forward to that. Cool. Me too. Next up is the game. You know, we we, we talk about anime and, and our love and disdain for animes on this show occasionally. Yes. But I was surprised I hadn't heard about this game, Dragon Ball, The Breakers. And it's coming out for pretty much everything. Yeah, everything playstation 4 5 xbox one sx switch and pc and action games so in this one it's a seven versus one game a similar vein to dead by daylight which is very popular nowadays that sort of uh dead by daylight uh sort yeah. of motif uh seven players take control of non-powered characters from the dragon ball world who are trying to avoid being destroyed by one of the main villains of the series controlled by the remaining player it sounds interesting but it makes sense for Friday the 13th. It makes sense for Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Does it really make sense for Dragon Ball, though? That that no, whole see. formula. I don't know. We're, we're watching a trailer for that, so I, I don't know. I guess we'll see how it works. Okay. Yeah. Because yeah. I'm interested. I, I mean, and I, but the, the main reason I'm interested is because, like, I have a good time playing Dead by Daylight. Like, that's right. a great gotcha. game to, like, play with fans, especially... Like we talked about it before, I'm trying to like figure my way out through the horror space of things. That's a good game to like because they keep they have all of the villains, Freddy, right. Jason, Leather, the right. Leatherface. But it makes they sense have, for that though. Yeah. And, and, and the, <laughs> does so Frieza game, and again, Frieza is is wonderful of a villain he is. Right. Do you get that same terror and dread <laughs> from being chased by Frieza as you do? Leatherface or right. Pinhead or Jason, you, you right. know what I'm saying? And that whole yeah. cabin in the woods, that, that Dead by Daylight formula works very well to experiencing a horror movie virtually. I, understand. I agree. So that's why I'm like, uh, I don't know, but I'll, I'll wait. To, uh, I'll hold judgment until the trailer. Okay. <laughs> All right. So next up, we're going to run through the next couple of them because they are, they are titles that speak to themselves. Okay. Right. NHL 23. Hockey is on everything, yeah. Well, except Switch. <laughs> Again, right. another misstep. Yeah, we know how EA is. All right, right, next up, Nickelodeon Kart Races Three. I didn't realize this is the third one. I, did, I was just getting ready to say that. I'm like, of all the kart racers that we've been talking about that I know of, didn't know Nickelodeon was on its third. But I'm intrigued right. because I'm a Nickelodeon kid. So this might be one I pick up if the characters fit the goddamn game. Right. And obviously, that's when everything. Um, and then we have PGA Tour 2K23. Golf. golf. Right. It's on everything but Switch. <laughs> not, not too much to say there. Golf similar. Um, golf. And then the last game, and we also watched a trailer on this one, is Scorn. And this is on Xbox One S and X. Actually, is it? Anyway, um, it's dropping on Game Pass. So even if it's not native on Xbox One, it's through Cloud Play. Because uh, I checked it out today and it doesn't drop until 6 a.m. on the 14th. So okay, mm-hmm. this recording 
Uh, I got two days of waiting before I can actually play it. But this is an atmospheric first person horror adventure game set in a nice marriage universe of mm-hmm. odd forms and somber tapestries. Uh, it's uh, it takes a lot of inspiration from uh, the art of H.R. Uh, Geiger. Um, a lot of that sort of aliens motif um, and also HP Lovecraft. So I was very interested in playing this game. Again, it's on Game Pass. It's one of the things they really trumpeted for October and Halloween season. So okay. I'm definitely looking forward to that one, especially with how much I enjoy playing uh, Metal Hellsinger. And again, I told you, I, I'm not a big shooters person, but I enjoyed right. that, my time playing that game. So I have pretty high hopes for scoring. Okay, cool. Yeah, shooters can be, they can be fun if you if they have the right story to back them up. Right. So let's get into the trailers. First up is, well, Scorn. Scorn. Let's do it. I really like that name. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I know the word Scorn is not supposed to be. Look at that. Yeah, it, it looks very alien-ish. Yeah, because what is on his neck like that? His teeth don't have lips to cover them. Like, how do you chew without lips? The graphics for this trailer are fantastic. Like, oh, yeah. Oh, is this how the game looks too? Yeah, I think it's That's why, because they are releasing early. Well, it's supposed to come out end of the month. Right. Okay. Oh, that was it? I mean, I should have picked a longer trailer. <laughs> got me interested in more, I guess. I guess uh, I'm ready. But to it see looks more. good just from that little bit, though. But I'll yeah, definitely be talking about it. I'll give you my impressions on it next week. Uh, next okay. week, you know, because I'll definitely be playing it this week. Cool, All right. So next up, we have Dragon Ball: The Breakers. All right. Now, see when this game was Peggy first 12. announced, I was very like, okay, this could be dope because you never, we never really like get to. That's never like really a part of the story. Like, what are the people in the city doing? You know, it makes a lot of sense. So I don't understand the next part. But it might be. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe they created Go- another kid for Goku. Ordinary citizens of it. generation of gaming and I'll say uh, PS4, Xbox One into the current game. These Dragon Ball Z games look like the cartoon. Like flawless. Yeah, I will definitely game give game them that. Like it, it's just them. impeccable how well or how close it looks like that you're actually playing an episode of the series. Right. And and t- now that I think about it, most of the most of the anime based games they are like that. Yeah. they've drawn really, really similar, animated really similar to the anime themselves or the manga right. for some. I really like that. Yeah, I agree. If I'm gonna play the game, I want to play it. Right, exactly. And last up for our trailers is the last 
or recruit. Okay. I hope I'm saying that right. <laughs> it's, it's okay. Whoever's offended, we didn't mean it. Well, that looked cool. I'm definitely interested in that one. And that's out for, I believe it's just, it's all current gen, last gen systems, except for, oh no, just that's straight current gen. So PS4, it's going to be PS5, um, Xbox Series S and X. Okay. So yeah, definitely looks like it takes advantage of that power of the current gen hardware. I'm still going to say next gen. It's weird to even say that current gen. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, the, the game does look interesting though. Yeah. So that's cool. It does. So, Brian, what do you have coming up this week, sir? I don't know. <laughs> um, I'm still trying to uh, recenter my life. So, I have an episode um, drafted for my podcast, but um, who knows if it'll be done this week or next week? So, I understand, sir. Yeah, I'm. I'm just. Uh, <laughs> I'm just catching up. That's all. I understand. Uh, see on the Star and Geek podcast by Webster Style this week. Uh, I watched Hellraiser, so I'll be talking about that. Uh, mm-hmm. Last episode, She Hawk will be talking about that as well as oh, yes. Lower Decks. They released a full trailer for Star Trek Picard, and I, I am a fanboy, and I hope they don't screw it up like they did <laughs> season one and two, um, amongst other things that I will be talking about a- as well. So uh, look forward to that drop in sometime this weekend after the time of this recording uh but of course you're you're with the nerds of the world and you are of course on the nrw checkpoint make sure you follow nerds of the world on twitter at the nrw on instagram and news wednesday of course you're currently on youtube so make sure you like share and subscribe because you need to exactly